What is up YouTube? It is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time, back with another video in today's video. All right, we're going to be messing with Instant Composer 2 and Scalar 2 just for a quick cook up. But before we go any further, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you get any video I upload to the channel. You know my channel's about reviews and improving your workflow. And these two definitely help with that. Let me show you Instant Composer 2, all right? And if it looks like it's a lot, it's not. You just gotta, you know, know what you're doing, right? So let's start with Scalar 2, jump right into it. You know, I love the build of Scalar 2 and the fact that you can instantly hear your chord progressions. It's just, it's just mind blowing to me, all right? So we're gonna be in some dark R&B chords and we'll be in like A minor. So let's go here and let's get going. I like that one. So that's the trap chord that we can go with and then we can put a rest here. If you ever want to get more in depth, in depth <laughs> with that chord, then press edit and you can always switch this one up. So you can do. And then you can also come here when you're editing and you can put the octave down to match the other ones. So that would be. All right, but we're just going with the original. What is that CD? And we're removing this one. and then putting the rest there. So that's just a little trick to get more focus on your chords in Scalar 2. Now that we have that, we're in A minor, A minor 7th, E minor 7th, E minor, D minor. So A, E, E, D. We're going to come here and we're going to go to A minor. Because that's where we're going to be in. And we're going to change this one to an A minor seventh E minor seventh regular E uh, regular E minor and I love this a lot of people don't know that you can do this in Instant Composer 2 that you can customize your chords and your melodies to go exactly what the chords you're hitting so you're in key and then last one is D minor seventh all right, and then hit go. And now we have the chord progression from Scalar 2, and we have the melody to go along with it. Let's see if we like that melody. And remember, it's no rush, but there is a rush. You know what I mean? It's like there is a sense of urgency, but there's no rush. You want to have a good sound selection, good rhythm, all of that. So we're going to drag that over to Heat Up 3, see how it sounds. And then let's pick a good sound. Did I do it in the right heat of three? Oh, there it go. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like melodic trap, not necessarily dark trap. We're going to go with that for the sake of the video. Then we're going to clone Heat Up 3. And then we're going to drop off that Instant Composer in there. Just going to hit the track and drop it over. It's 
okay. It's okay. We can do better. So when you want to do better, you go to the bottom and you're looking for the pattern. Motif. Do you want to add to the motif? Take away from the motif. I want to shorten the length. Less repeat. A little bit of variation, right? And then you can the velocity can be randomized. And then hit go again. Until you blue in the face, you can hit go, right? So let's try this one now. It's in key, you can hear it. It's just certain things you start picking up as you listen to a lot of things. You say, Oh man, it's in key, or if you hear something, oh, that's off. Your body tells you, your ears tell you, right? Um, let's try something with the lead. It, that it harmonizes well together um, as long as the track is highlighted that's what you'll be getting so my melody track is highlighted if I want to highlight my rhythm track you hit the number two and my rhythm is now if I want a bass line if I want a pad if I want a chord all of this has to be highlighted if I want drums right also you can get estonado or a riff we're gonna go here for the estonado same thing we're going to clone heat up three. Get a sound going. Uh, let's get something ethnic. We can get a flute if it doesn't work out. I already don't like how it sounds. So I can come here and say, hey, I want less of some more velocity. I want uh, variation. I don't want a lot of note repeat. Um, I want longer notes, right? And then press go. And it changes it up for you. This is an alternative to you if you have beat block, right? <laughs> And it might just be the sound, you know, I don't like the sound, but or it might be the pattern. So while I was playing, you can see me coming down here messing with general patterns and harmonies. All right, so you got general mode, less population. I, don't, I want that. Just play with it, and then see how it gives me less notes. Learn what these mean. Study it. It's helping you out. Right? And then find what's best for you. And if Estonado's not for you, then go down, go back to Melody. You can get another Melody out of it and see what works for you. Don't just take it, oh, I got to go just to get your practice in. Let's also go down to Chord because we already had a Chord, but let's see with the Chord progression they would have gave us with the information we fed it. So they gave us this. We're going to compare it to what we came up with on our own just to see if we're on the right track. See, they came up with a different little rhythm. Here's what they came up with. Not bad. Here's what we have. I actually like their rhythm better, but I like what we came up with as far as the chords. But I like their rhythm. 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. I like that what they did with the rhythm. Let's see if it goes with this and this. It goes. Alright, and that's you know how I do. Let's cut everything off so we can do a little review of how to work Insta Composer 2 with Scalar 2. So you gotta pick your chord progression. Let's get something new. I'm gonna go to the main screen. We'll pick a new chord progression. Because it can be in any kind of style. This is E flat minor. Drag that on over. Okay, we got that. And then we're going to take the same chords and now put them in Insta Composer 2. We're going to be on melody. We're in E flat minor. First one is E flat 11. Minor ninth. And E flat and D, D sharp are the same thing. Minor ninth. And this one is G flat or F sharp major ninth. And then you just press go. And this is what they came up with. Hold on, my bad, my bad, my bad, I ain't stretched. You go it's your boy hollywood floss the worst blues of all time hit the like and subscribe button scalar 2 and really focusing on instant composer 2 and its capabilities today all right let me know what you think in the comments below do you like it do you hate it could you see yourself working with this workflow all right go to tiktok hollywood floss follow me i do follow back just a little bit light-hearted side but you can still ask music questions and then instagram is hw floss and don't forget hollywoodfloss.beatstars.com to shop or to ask questions about music and get beats and then also teespring i'll put that in the description we're starting some merch the worst producer of all time shirts hollywood floss shirts little sayings i say here and there anything music related kind of merchandise all right until next time peace